Undeterred by the level of crime affecting the island, Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, remains focused on pursuing workable policy interventions to help the Royal St. Lucia Police Force extract criminal elements from the island's peace-loving communities. No member in my cabinet has ever said that he'll commit crime on his own. Each cabinet member is fully behind po the police, fully behind law enforcement, and fully behind the people of St. Lucia and with the people of St. Lucia to cause a solution to happen to the scourge in this country. Ridding the streets of illegal guns and disarming the criminals are among the Pay administration's top priorities. But the police must work with the customs and the customs must allow the police to work with them. Like we cannot work in silos. The customs must allow the police to work with them in the barrel business so we can stem or we can try to stem the barrels, the guns that are coming through the barrels. So I'm calling on the control of customs and the commission of police to meet together again so that the police can play a role in the barrel inspection together with the scanners. Prime Minister Pierre has facilitated the provision of two additional patrol vehicles which will expand the existing patrol fleet and improve the police force's operational and tactical capacity and further reduce response times. And every member in this cabinet is fully behind the police force and condemns crime, every member in this cabinet. And we show it by our presence, and we show it by our actions. We show it by not saying useless words. That is how we show it. We show it by not uttering useless words. We, sh we show it by not saying that we commit crimes on our own. We, we, we show it by our actions. And we will fight this coach. We'll work with the police force. We'll work with the people of St. Lucia. And we call on the people of St. Lucia to work with us. The new patrol vehicles were formally handed over to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force High Command on December 5th. The Peer Administration continues to equip the Royal St. Lucia Police Force with the necessary crime-fighting tools, equipment, training and resources to effectively combat crime and keep our communities safe. It will strengthen the police force operational efficiency and tactical fluency, attributes necessary for the effective delivery of a results-driven policing service. I look forward to the expected improvements in the tactical performance of our operational teams. We can do more, we should do more, with the continued provisioning of the requisite law enforcement equipment and resources, we will do more. The Peer Administration has taken the fight to the criminals. In July, the legislature amended the Firearms Act to broaden the discretionary authority of magistrates and judges to impose longer prison sentences and higher cash penalties on individuals found guilty of firearm-related offenses. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.